Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna talk about the Riddler from Lies of B. He's a really cool character in my opinion. So, the Riddler is a puppet from the game and as the name suggests, he gives you riddles to solve and if you get them right, you get Trinity keys so you can then open the Trinity doors and in the end, you can even meet him in person. His story is pretty interesting. Once the puppets broke out from their strings and started thinking he murdered his owners and ran away, his owners just happened to be Vanini's parents. Rare. The Riddler decided to do whatever he wants after realizing he can't think and he's like a human because he can't think for his own and take actions according to what he wants. So he then gives Pinocchio the riddle so he realizes he's also a human, technically speaking. And this reminds me of none other than Hisoka. Pinocchio and the Riddler's relationship is like Hisoka and Gones to a certain point. The Riddler is showing Pinocchio they are no different from humans and they can do whatever they want. They all think and they can feel things just like Paul and Dina falling in love with Lady Antonia. So this makes the Riddler a pretty cool character. His last question is if Pinocchio is human or not, which shows he's reached his life goal of doing whatever he wants and living with no consequences, while showing other puppets they are no different from humans. It's a weird situation to think about the fact that he's killed Fanini's parents, but it's kind of the same situation for Pinocchio and Geppetto. Geppetto created Pinocchio only to serve him, while the Riddler's purpose was serving in his house, just like Pinocchio refusing to give his heart to Geppetto, the Riddler refused to keep being enslaved and got away for his life. Pretty interesting to see the relationship between all the characters. Such a great game. That's about it. Let me know what you think about the Riddler. See you around.